Trucker Television is brought to you by JD Factors, charting a path to growth. Day and Ross, owner operator driven. Trucker Television Advertising, the voice of Canadian trucking. Welcome to Trucker Television, the best of the trucking world. This week on Trucker Television, rig of the week, a cool green 2001 379. Pre-trip with Scott of Laidlaw Tank LP. Modern trucking with Dan of Challenger Motor Freight. But first, northbound to Labrador City with Glen Tay Transport. hits the ice, it can actually give a little bit of a water on top, which makes it a little interesting, but even at minus 15, the sun will give it that little blaze, which uh, you don't stick to the ice anymore, but I'm hoping for a good ride there. Hopefully everybody's keeping their truck on the road and straight, and we shouldn't have to deal with anybody. So, yeah, we should be four hours up to Manic 5, everything goes good, and uh, I always count about five hours after that to get to Lab City from there, so if it's normal up through there, it should be nice and icy and smooth, unlike in the summertime when you've got potholes and washboard. But I do bring, you know, everything I can think of as far as <laughs> tools and uh, little repair kits and all the liquids I might need as far as oil and coolant. Everybody's pretty good out here. I've, I've stopped and helped a few people along the way, and I haven't had too much trouble now. I've had to stop for a day or so at the odd time when they shut the highway down because of weather, but uh, that's pretty rare. I ended up coming down there one time after the highway had been closed, so they weren't even working on that hill. When I got there, they hadn't touched it, and it was probably four to five inches of snow on there. And, uh, it was interesting. I definitely started from a crawl at the top and kept it that way all the way down. It probably took me 15 minutes to get to the bottom there, but yeah, that's not something I'd recommend there. It's a little hard on the nerves. Uh, luckily it was cold enough and the truck enough talking to it there, it made it to the bottom. So. Hoping today we can keep her going. Going down a pretty icy hill right now, so I'll pay attention. A little more of a challenge with the beat drain, but 34 metric, we're pretty good with that. The truck should be able to do it. Most thing I do with the biggest hills is put in the power divider so both axles are working hard. Instead of just the back one, we get a little more traction that way. And just Grabbing gears, trying to keep it going. These transmissions are pretty well synchronized if you can find the right RPMs. But honestly, I I just have never used the clutch straight from the start. Just and it just I don't even know if I can shift with the clutch anymore. I, it seems awkward to even try and do it. But no, I just once you learn the you know the RPM and the speed here. The gears just slide right in. There's no grinding, there's no, you know, some people can go back and forth, double clutching and all the rest, but it's, this works good for me. Shake, 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 shake,
Now there's some pretty, pretty hard pulling up to there, but we kind of locked out with a, just four axle this time. But yeah, you just got to be prepared for those hills because they sneak up on you. You just hit them and they're straight up. <laughs> so you got to be ready for it. But other than that, just be ready with your gears and hope the truck does the pulls it right over the top there. After the break, a cool 2001 Peterbilt and Dan of Challenger Motor Freight. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? Now hiring company drivers. Women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School. Training for your future. Your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Closed captioning by tuning experts, diesel spec. Brian Levi, drive for Floyd Gibbons Trucking out of Air, Ontario. My first truck. Got it in 2004. It's a 2001 379 Pete with a Cummins N14 engine. Million three miles. Never touched. Bottom, well, bottom bearing roll, that's about it. Took some time to, to chrome her up. It took a while, but got it to where I want it now. Just run an aerosol under there and it seems to be giving me about a half mile to the gallon a little better, so yeah, that's about it. She's pretty much bumped it up to 500 horse, and that's about it. We do uh, a lot of farm equipment. John Deere's our main backhaul out of Iowa. We look after about uh, 15 stores, the 10 to 15 of the John Deere Premier Equipment stores. So yeah, that's our, we specialize in oversized and uh, other stuff like that, mostly farm equipment. They said it was time for a new face. There is nothing that I... When I woke up in the morning. There is a lot of profound change with deregulation starting off in 1980 or 81 in the United States and then working its way through to Canada. So we had this just this watershed moment with society increasing dramatically with technology anyway. So you have deregulation, you're trying to find new and better ways to be fast, efficient, effective, and invariably technology kept, kept on coming to the top that you'd embrace it 
to make the, make yourselves better. Years ago, when, with a truck, we'd put, you'd have a spare tire in the truck and a bottle jack in the jockey box. And you'd expect the guy to change their own tires because if they're stuck in the middle of Nevada, we had no cells back then, right? And they would either wait for a service call, which would take forever, or get out the block of wood, get out the bottle jack, jack the truck up, change the tire, right? So the guys don't have to change their own tires, and we have cell phone communications, we have satellite tracking, we have on-road repair people that uh, if they break down, they call into our maintenance shop, and we can get a whole list of our providers across North America. So it's all quick and instantaneous. That's part of a well-oiled uh, transportation machine. You're out there on the road and you're away for a week or two at a time. Take the time for your physical and mental well-being. Uh, you don't need to go to a gym and lift big weights and you know, pretend you know we're supermen again. Just do simple little things for exercise. We haven't, as an industry, been all that good at promoting a healthy lifestyle to our staff. And, and uh, so we're, we're doing more and more of that, sharing information about healthy eating tips and habits, uh, exercising, you know, when you get on the road, you walk around the truck a couple times. And I can't stress enough to anybody, that is an issue we need to work on with our drivers, period, is, is physical health. After the break, pre-trip with Scott of Laidlaw Tank LP. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Diesel spec. Tune in for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call diesel spec? A leading authority in dry van transportation. The only call you need to make for all your shipping requirements. Spady Transport, carrying... Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a drive. Now hiring company drivers. Women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Ontario Truck Driving School, training for your future, your path to success. Thousands of jobs. Laidlaw Carriers Tank, Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. I'm Scott Rayson. I've been at Laidlaw Tank since June 2012. We're gonna demonstrate a uh, pre-trip. I'm gonna point out some of the major things that uh, need to be checked on a regular basis to make sure that it's safe to go on the road. The 
I have the hood open. I'm uh, checking my fluid levels. I'm checking to make sure that there's no leaks anywhere along the engine, down along the frame. Checking uh, my uh, springs, the U-bolts, brakes, the inner wheel seal, tie rods, ball joints. On the outside, we're checking all the nuts. We're looking for uh, any spider webbing on the rim and we want to check our oil level. I can't stress this, this here is one of the most critical things that you need to look for. That there's no spider webbing, the, nut, the nuts are actually tight, the hub is actually full. Or, or, between add and full. And you can actually see the two lines, right? We want to make sure that everything's intact, the mirrors, the breathers, the steps, the door works. Want to make sure the exhaust arm is on and intact. Want to make sure that any fluids that we have are full. I look in between the rim to make sure there's no debris, there's no separation in between the, the two tires. Making sure that the airbags are full. Checking my tires to make sure they're full of air. Again, I want to check in between the wheels. I want to make sure that the two rims are tight together. Several times in my career, and I've seen guys with the trailer one way and the tractor another way gone. Because in the winter time, what happens, what can happen is the grease will harden. You go to hook onto the trailer, you thought you heard the click, but you better get out and make sure it's locked. Do you want to make sure that all your air lines are good? You're visually looking to see if there's anything hanging, damaged. You're looking for to see if the wheel seals, the inner wheel seals, any of them, if you see any leaking. The brakes are set because the gate is down. We open up our compartments. We're gonna open up all the plungers. I'm gonna physically go over to the other side and make sure they're all open. One, two, three. I want to test my emergency shutoff. I want to go around the front on the left side and have a look to make sure they all closed. And they did. I have to make sure that this is safe. It doesn't matter if I'm hauling water, cement, or propane, or gasoline. It doesn't matter what it is. You take the same attitude with everything you do. We want to make sure that we have paperwork. I remember one of my first jobs driving truck. I got to the scale and I almost passed. You know, I didn't pass because my ownership wasn't signed. I didn't get a ticket. I didn't get anything in writing, but I did get a scolding and a warning. At the scale, they're, they're extremely strict. And uh, they, they, uh, they've heard all the stories. We're gonna do a tug test. We're gonna put the truck into low gear and we're just gonna let the clutch out real slow. And it's not moving. My, my buttons are pulled, it's not moving. I'm gonna pull the brake on the, tra on the trailers and I'm gonna do a tug. Okay, it's, it's not moving. Next thing I wanna do is pull my spike. Let the clutch out slow, it's not moving. Now I, what I wanna do is apply the brakes. It's not moving, okay. Now also too, what I'm looking for here is on the, on the dash here, I have a, a primary and a secondary means of air. Now what I'm going to do is both buttons are pushed in, I'm going to apply the brakes and I'm going to be looking to see that these gauges, these two gauges are not moving. If those two gauges are moving when I'm applying the brakes, when I'm holding it firmly down and not moving it, if those gauges are moving, we have, a, we have an air leak that I missed. Never assume anything because uh, that's when you're going to get yourself into trouble. If that unit's not safe, it's not going anywhere. Simple as that.
After the break, northbound to Labrador City with Glen Tay Transport. Challenger Motor Freight. Once you get into trucking, it gets in your blood. There's something about it, you're, you're connected to it. It's that movement of freight, that interaction of man and machine. Join our team and go the distance. Diesel Spec. Tuning for performance and fuel economy. It's a big difference for the, the transport with the price of the fuel. They do a great job. I was doing about 5.7 miles per gallon. Now I average between 7.5 and 8 miles per gallon. Is fuel economy important to you? How can you not call Diesel Spec? Looking for a new opportunity? Fleetway Transport is now hiring company drivers and owner operators for flatbed and heavy haul. Join the Fleetway family. Apply today at fleetwaytransport.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Email us a picture of your truck and you can win a set of New Line fenders and be on national TV. New Line at truckertelevision.com. New Line Spray Suppression. Laidlaw Carriers, Van LP. They pay me well, they have a good fuel surcharge calculation program, with, and they have the type of loads I like to haul in a dry van. Now hiring company drivers and owner operators. Trucker Television, by truckers for truckers. Celebrating life on the road. Trucker Television advertising. Speaking to truckers like no other. Oh yeah, always remember, watch for the brake checks. Laidlaw Carriers Tank is seeking liquid tank owner operators. Competitive fuel surcharge program. Base plates, border crossings, and tolls paid. Our people and equipment set us apart. Now hiring company drivers, women and men. Late model, all Peterbilt fleet. Dependable runs, great pay and benefits. Locomote Systems, transportation specialists. Laidlaw Carriers Tank Sudbury Office is now hiring quality owner operators. Company drivers also wanted four days on, four days off option. Our people and our equipment set us apart. Thirty-four thousand. KGs of dextrin. All that stuff pretty near unloads itself, so just gotta get the pressures up and let it go and watch it do a pitch thing. Coming down empty is kind of there's no big trick to that. You just run the jig. Today was really nice, it was just wet. A lot of sand on it, so this was a good day. I've been down there and definitely more interesting times. But there's no real trick, just start slow and keep it that way to the bottom. You can certainly come down faster. On one hand, you make the hills faster, but you also have to watch because you are riding on ice for most of the trip, so. You definitely spin a little easier, and we had great weather most of the way, a little bit of snow here and there, but for the most part, it's pretty much the same thing, except a little less shifting and a, and a lot more faster up the hill, that's about it. They were certainly more polished today. They were quite windy, so the snow was kind of running straight across in there. And <laughs> it was interesting a few times there, so certainly not a cruise control day. But we got her done anyway. We got the worst of it done, so. And, uh, yeah, so far so good. I'm gonna switch this four axle out for 
set of Raglan B trains there, one of our newest sets. Very nice, they work really, really good. So I went to Nova Scotia with those trailers, and when I came back to Bedford, I dropped them there for this trip. And uh, I'll be able to just pick them up and carry on back to Perth. I brought my son with me, and he was with me for three years. It worked perfectly. He, he knew how to read a map and do math and, and read and everything else by the time he started kindergarten. So had his own little logbook going there all the time with me. So my daughter, whenever she could too. And it, it's just a great experience for the kids, and, and some of them are naturally going to gravitate towards trucking. If they want young people to get into trucking and be interested with it, I just to me, starting with your parents and be allowed to come with your parents, or you, whichever one's driving, just makes sense to me. You get some, to see the country and enjoy, you know, decide whether they like truck or not. And most young boys and girls love to jump in a truck and ride with their mom or dad, so. Personally, to me, it's just, if you took the restrictions off and allowed them to ride, you'd, you'd, you'd kind of just naturally fix that shortage of young drivers. If you're comfortable with your truck and you're comfortable with shifting and speed shifting, <laughs> basically, and uh, you know you're willing to not have your cruise control set for nine or ten hours, then you know, keep your head on your shoulders. I know these sound kind of cliche, but respect this road, and you won't have any trouble. You just if you got a plan on nine or ten hours on the average day, and you know anybody can do it. In my opinion, it's just. I like to think that it takes a better driver to do it, but I think most people could do it with just a little smart, smart driver and being very comfortable with your truck. We left Labrador yesterday morning. We kind of took it easy. Got back to Tacoma last night, and uh, we had a great ride all the way down there. A little bit of snow here and there, but other night you can't ask for a better trip. So, and uh, we left Tacoma this morning. Had a great ride down and uh, got rid of our uh, four axle, hooked on these trains, and I'm ready to head home and see my family. Thank you very much for everyone who submitted pictures to the Trucker Television New Line Fender Contest. Congratulations, Scott Gardner of Guelph, Ontario. You have won the draw. Your 660 is going to look pretty. Next week, Biker TV Season 10, the best of Canadian motorcycling. Trucker Television is brought to you by Locomote Systems, Transportation Specialists, Biker TV, the best of Canadian motorcycling, Season 10, Laidlaw Carriers Van LP, a great place to work.